Hello there, this is David from David Books and Comics, and today I want to talk about Ghost. Ghost is a series that uh, came out. This is the first appearance of Ghost in uh, Dark Horse's Comics uh, Greatest World, uh, Week 3. And uh, this is probably all of Ghost's uh, rarest uh, issues. Ghost was uh, Dark Horse's uh, most popular series. Um, they had some um, very critically acclaimed series, among which is uh, uh, Hellboy. But the Dark Horse company uh, owns the rights to, to this character, uh, Ghost. Um, she first appeared again, as I said, in, in 1993. This is the first issue. The um, the art is uh, cover art is by um, somebody named uh, Poorman, but the interior art is uh, by Adam Hughes. So this script is by the publisher uh, Mike Richardson. Just so you know. So the cre the creation of the character really goes to uh, uh, Mike Richardson. Dark Horse Comics has um, a few uh, owned series that is owned by the the company Dark Horse. One is uh, and this is the most popular one, uh, Ghost. The other one is uh, Axe, and I believe the other one is called Barbed Wire. Which uh, and uh, some of these um, uh, series appeared in solo issues, uh, but I believe a Ghost was the longest running of all of them. So there you go. So this is the uh, first cover appearance and first appearance of of Ghost in Comics Greatest World again. The creation of the character goes to uh, Mike Richardson, the publisher, and um, Adam Hughes. <clears throat> this, uh, I'll just put that aside here. And this is the other issue I collected. This is ghost number one. Again, the... Um, the cover is by Adam Hughes. The interior art is by Adam Hughes. Just so you know, just flip through it. Of all of the 90s comic books, um, I think this series was the least influenced by um, Rob Liefeld and, and Jim Lee, which kind of created the the look of the '90s comic books. Well, there you go. So the writer here for the longest uh, for the first run of the series was by was. Um, Eric Luke, the artist, um, in both the cover artist and the interior artist is Adam Hughes. I don't know of any or too many uh, comic books that Adam Hughes actually drew um, in terms of the interior art. He drew, he's known more for his covers. So I'll show you some of the single issues that I collected over the years. And, and then I'll show you what I uh, tended to buy after that. So that's number one. Those two that I showed are probably the rarest of all the ghosts. So this is number 11. And Eric Luke is still the writer. He wrote most of the, the series. That's the Furies. The penciler is a guy named David Bullock. 
and um, again features some great great cover art and interior art and there's the Furies yeah and this is number 12. <clears throat> Just to give you a look. And we have the Summerists really took the, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's Dave Bullock again. This is number 12. And this is a ghost special. It's a double double page issue. Matt Haley was the penciler for the first was the penciler for, he did most of the, the first run of the ghost series. Now Ghost is as as the an alias. Her name is Eliza Cameron. In the opening stories She's, this is a crossover with the other superhero character, X. <clears throat> a lot of these stories take place in Arcadia. It's the fictional world that X and uh, barbed wire and ghost populate. So now, there you go. So that's Ghost Special. This is number one, I believe. Cover art is none other than Adam Hughes. Yeah, this is number one. I'll show you some of the single issues that I collected without flipping through it. So there's that one. Number 14. Number 15. Number 16, and this is number 32, it's a photo cover, montaged with background, and a ghost special number 2, 48 pages, another ghost special number 3, and this is volume 2. Volume 2, uh, this is the ghost handbook that introduced actually Volume 2, where you get a background on all the background characters. And this little synopsis gives you a de detail uh, that uh, leads into uh, the, um, the second volume. This is called the ghost handbook. It gives you all the background. One of the things that's most frustrating about the Ghost series is that it was, you for it was a forever mystery. Like it kept on going and going, and you never knew. She was trying to kind of find out uh, who uh, killed her because she was a ghost. Then we find out later that that's in fact not the case. But anyways, so this is number two of this uh, volume two. This is number three. Featuring a silhouette, one of her arch villains. This is volume or uh, number five. This is number six. And here is one of the best uh, covers of them all. And uh, this is a uh, number seven. And I have a reading copy of this one, too. This is number eight. It's a mini series shifter. Number three. And number four. Uh, it's number nine, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, 
that's that one. And then we have number 12, number 18. Number 20 and number 22. Now, the Ghost series had a number of crossovers, and uh, the one of the most popular crossovers was with Hellboy, which I do not have. And I do have the other, um, I would say, key crossovers. So, the first one I collected was this one because I was a, am a fan of the shadow. I, I made sure I went to the back issue bins and dug this up. This is a uh, very good copy of Ghost in the Shadow. And the penciler is H.M. Baker. The writer is Doug Monk. This is a, an excellent solo story. Where uh, Lamont Cranston is reintroduced as the shadow. And there's Ghost. Excellent issue. So that's Ghost in the Shadow. The other popular one, a solo crossover, was this one. This is Ghost and Batgirl. And this one uh, was uh, drawn by Ryan Benjamin. Mike Kennedy did the artwork. Excellent. Both are excellent solo stories. Just to flip through, deep dive, as they say. All right, so there you go. There you go, Cassandra Kane, that girl, and Eliza Cameron, Deer Lane, Eliza Deer Lane Cameron. All right, so there you go, Ghost and, and Batgirl. Now I'll show you the k um, issues that I tended to buy. They were the uh, these um, anthology issues, and this one's called Ghost Stories. Beautiful cover art, for, original cover art for uh, for this cover of this uh, anthology of ghost stories, and it has the uh, cover by Adam Hughes. The interior art um, is by um, the back cover is by Matt Haley, but the interior art is the Adam Hughes from uh, Comma's Greatest World and uh, uh, Number One, Ghost Number One. And the second story, and there you go. Okay, so that's that. And then uh, this, this is Black October, where uh, Ghost uh, confronts one of her greatest villains. Um, this story, Hunger, this character uh, was the, I think the inspiration for one of the villains in the Alias uh, TV series, the Marvel Alias TV series. This is a character called Hunger, who basically manipulates, effortlessly manipulates people's minds to make them do whatever they want, forces them to do what they want.
So that's that. That's Ghost Black Black, uh, Black October. It's a great Halloween type issue, as you see there. And that's the arch villain of the piece. This is a pretty horrific uh, series. It's got some really wild artwork and uh, very imaginative writers. So that's Ghost uh, Black October. And here's another Adam Hughes goodness cover art by Adam Hughes. with number one. That's Adam Hughes Interior Art, one of our best artists in the business, demonstrating his uh, highly competent skills. And this is where a ghost is trying to discover her past. All right, so that's Ghost Nocturne. And this is Ghost Exhuming Eliza. Let's see. Yeah. Move this out of the way. Just to demonstrate, there's King Tiger X. Exhuming Eliza. The artwork is always very precise, very fine. Um, but I found much of the writing kind of frustrating because she's always looking into herself and looking into the past. It's almost like it's a constant uh, uh, navel gazing kind of writing st uh, story. Anyway, so I'll show you the how popular the character was by uh, showing the omnibus editions. And this, this is a wonderful, if you want to read the entire first run of uh, the series, get the wonderful uh, omnibus editions. Slightly uh, smaller than the regular comic size. If you'll notice. But the entire story is here. There you go. So that's volume one. This is volume two. Well read volume two. go that's volume two and this is volume three that's how popular the series was these from my local comic shop didn't last long they sold quite quite easily i don't know if it's because they it was such a small uh, print run or because they had a lot of buyers like I said Ghost was Dark Horse's most popular uh, character created uh, series uh, that's owned by the company by Dark Horse okay so that's volume three and yep there's another volume volume four which uh, this is the uh, reprint of the second volume of the uh, regular series. Yeah, the cover or interior artist was uh, uh, Christian Zanye, who did the first uh, few issues. All right, so 
There we go. Lots of weird monsters. So there you go, volume four. And yeah, there's yet another volume with that beautiful white cover. This is volume five. These are about 300 pages, each of these e omnibus editions. Just to demonstrate how popular the series was. I enjoyed uh, reading the entire series and um, collecting some of the key issues of the series. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed my um, exploration of the Dark Horse's most popular standalone superhero series called Ghost, um, owned uh, by the company. I think Ghost and Barbed Wire and X are the heroes uh, that uh, comic book heroes that are owned by, by Dark Horse. So if you enjoyed my uh, exploration into this, uh, the Ghost series, remember to give me that uh, thumbs up, like, um, and uh, I'll uh, feel free to comment and I'll link uh, some of the uh, other uh, videos that I've shown uh, in uh, recent weeks. All right. And um, again, feel free to comment. And not to forget, thanks everyone uh, uh, subscribers, uh, all the subscribers who've subscribed to my uh, my channel. I hope you continue to enjoy what I what I'm showing. All right, thanks. Bye.